I'm so embarrassed. Okay, <laughs> welcome to my vlog for the 72 hour reading nook readathon. I think I'm saying that right. For some reason, I thought this started Friday night because I was thinking Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like three days, <laughs> but that wouldn't make sense because Friday's already over by the time you start it, so it wouldn't really be a full day. So, whoops. So, <laughs> impromptu start to a reading vlog. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. And this isn't abnormal or out of character for me, so yes. So um, yeah, I guess I'll be starting my weekend of reading tonight, even though I didn't plan to, but here we go. I, before my tablet dies, I have, oh gosh, where, want to be reading in my comfort zone all weekend because I need to get a lot of reading done. And if, I feel like if I read outside of the comfort zone all weekend, I'll get less reading done because I'll be intimidated because that's just the type of person I am. But um, let's see. I need, what do I need? I have no freaking idea. We're just gonna go there. Open app. What am I doing? Don't know what I'm doing. I feel, I feel, I'm confused. How do I use the wheel? Is this supposed to be easy? <laughs> what the heck? Maybe if I make it bigger on this screen? What am I doing? Okay, I guess that's as big as it's getting. <laughs> Let's race. Oh my gosh. I'm not that big. Okay, my chair is freaking out. Okay, so here's the wheel in your comfort zone. I feel like I got really close to the camera. Anyways, so I am going to spin it. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Uh, new release, 2023-2024. Okay, okay. I know what I want to read. I need to read it. And I suppose this is going to be me reading it. This is exciting. No, I'm going to read a different one. No, yes. What do I still need to read this month? Let's bring up a thing. Okay, so I still need to read Dance with the Fae Prince by Elise Kova. That is not that new. Back by Sunrise by Justin Stone. That is not new. A Game of Fate. Ooh, okay, so I have two, but one I need to do a separate dedicated vlog to, so I'm gonna pick the other one, and I'm actually really excited about it. Oh my gosh. So hopefully this one doesn't take too long. It doesn't look like it should, but how many pages is it? 384, but it looks like a fast, quick read, so that's exciting. But I am going to be reading A Good Game by Madison Fox, and I am so proud and happy for you, girl. Look at you have a book out in the world where people can read it. That's fantastic. I love this. They say never fall for the bad boy. Okay, we all fall for the bad boy. If I'm not mistaken, I've read this synopsis so many times. Okay, so we follow Stevie, and something goes down with her ex-boyfriend. Probably a piece of crap. So, yeah. But then it looks like she has the opportunity to get down and dirty with one of the most famous video game streamers of this generation. He has a hidden masked identity, and yes. I'm here all for that. Ooh, okay, so because Blade is Alexander Knight, the tattooed bad boy Stevie is currently falling for, Alexander can't risk his identity being discovered, but the closer he gets to Stevie, the harder it becomes to keep his secret. If he's not careful, it'll be game over. So yes, I'm really excited about this. I pre-ordered it if I'm not mistaken. I was like, I need this right away, but then I haven't read it because my TBRs every month overwhelm me, so. I am finally reading this. And if you follow my monthly TBR game, I am using this book to level up, wrong way, level up my ditto. And the theme for this one is Deception. If you haven't watched my February TBR, um, please go watch it. I'll link it down below. But um, yes, so Deception, Masked video game streamer. Masks are kind of deception-y. <laughs> is this a little bit of a stretch? Probably, but I'm making it work because it's my TBR game. So this is my first book for the 72 hour Reading Nook Readathon. I don't have a Reading Nook, but I do have that really comfortable spot in my bed right there. So yes, but otherwise I am starting. I, I'm, I'm starting. Here we are. I'm gonna start this tonight and I'm, I'm very excited. Okay, bye. <sighs> Hi. Okay, so it's Friday. I did a little wash my hair, but I'm getting it done tomorrow, so I'm really lazy with it today. But 
at least it's clean. But I did a do a little bit of reading last night. So I got to page 37 of Good Game. I love the grumpy sunshine trope. Thank you, Madison, for giving this to us. Um, and then last minute, I kind of decided to do a little bit of annotating maybe. So pink, I'm gonna do love or like sweet moments. And then orange, I'm gonna do like sexy moments. I did a little bit of highlighting, but I haven't put in my tabs yet. So like I have all of my stuff right here. I'm gonna just kind of go from there. But I want to get the majority of this done tonight and then maybe finish it out tomorrow morning. I am going to try my hardest to join Margaret from the Word Nerds reading spritz tomorrow morning. It's 11 o'clock her time because she lives in Florida, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm way over in Utah, so that's like 9 a.m., and I don't even get up at 9 a.m. for work, so <laughs> we're gonna see, but uh, I want to get so much reading done this weekend, so like, I have to wake up, <laughs> so we'll see what happens, but that's kind of where we are with this readathon so far. I need to put away clothes, make the bed and you know vacuum and like just tidy up and stuff. And then I also wanted to clean the bathroom. So though it is not part of the readathon, I will probably listen to the audiobook of, oh my gosh, what is it called? I can't remember. Twisted something. Twisted something. That does not help you guys at all, does it? Twisted Love. Okay. Twisted Love. Here it is. Um, I'm going to listen to this. I feel like I'm farther than this. I am. So I'm 55% through with this already because I listened to a whole lot of it yesterday while I was working on my miniature clay polymers that it's like my new hobby that I've taken up and stuff like that. So I did listen to a lot of this yesterday. It would be nice to finish it this weekend and I will be doing it in between my reading for the readathon so I can still like have my reading kind of going but that's kind of where I am on that one. So I still have my work day to finish off. I have a little under three hours left um, but I did get a late start so I didn't take a lunch or anything. I didn't have any interviews today which was really weird like I had a whole day open for people to schedule and no one scheduled so I kind of had a day to work on side projects so I took I woke up a little later took a late shower and put on skincare but no makeup and took care of my hair but didn't actually do it so I'll do that tomorrow because I had to go out tomorrow anyways to get my hair done so I'll dump myself up tomorrow but today I can't be bothered so that's where we are there and I'm really excited to keep going on Good Game and I'm very excited to go on with Twisted Love though when I started Good Game after listening to 55% of Twisted Love the main characters the males are both named Alex and I was like wait a second <laughs> that was interesting confused me for a hot second I was like wait what am I doing all is well and so tonight those are my two reading plans I don't know what's going on tomorrow but we'll get there when we get there okay <music> very far into this book and I already love it. So I'm on page 58 now. So I just read like 20 ish more pages. But you know, one of the things, okay, not even one, multiple. Okay. First, the male. Okay. He's like that grumpy, I hate everyone kind of guy, which we love that in our romances, don't we? But he has these really, really sweet moments. Like he kind of took on this female gamer when she first started and she's kind of like his little sister kind of like now. And <laughs> he's just so sweet and thoughtful with her. And that is sexy, you know, caring about others. It's great. I love it. And then from the spoilers we've been getting from Madison on social media, I think the next book in the series is going to be one of the other gamers in the system. And I really like him. He's so funny. <laughs> like He's so, so funny. So I'm really excited to get the second book. I don't, I think I got this off Amazon and some of my pages are falling out. Like this one, which is like page two. <laughs> it just like, I just stick it back in there. And then there was another one that was like coming out too. It must be this one. It's slightly more, just like a random page. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, my grip isn't that intense. Let me tell you. But the female in here is <laughs> 
slightly horny, okay? But she does something very, what did I, what did I put? I thought I was being funny when I annotated it, but where is it? Ah, yes. So she does something and something sexy. And <laughs> I put ballsy, pun intended. If you know, you know, but oh my gosh, these characters, I love them. I love them so much. <sighs> okay, that's my update. I'm also, like, I have a mess down here on my desk and that's just how it's gonna be. But okay, that's my update. to move over to the bed but <laughs> I find myself smirking because the banter in this book between the characters is so funny and realistic and just great but yeah oh my gosh I'm so shiny today that's what happens when you do nothing with yourself all day but yeah so it's sexy and sweet at the same time and I love that combination I really do so yeah main character just went to a party where her ex-boyfriend who cheated on her is there with that same woman and her family and one thing where I was like why so like her mom calls her and is like you have to get back together with this guy because people with money are like that and she doesn't even mention <laughs> that he cheated on her not once, but multiple times. A mother would care, right? <laughs> like, why? So yeah, her mom is pushing for her to get back with her cheating ex, and I just want Stevie to tell her, no, he cheated on me. I want that conversation to happen, because I think it should. But anyways, we digress. <laughs> errands it is saturday morning i got up a little bit earlier than usual because my mother nature's gift to women is kicking my butt so that's all i'm gonna say about that but first i stopped at michael's i needed a little restock so, so i have black and white because you can do almost anything with black and white and then i got this like peachy pink and then i got a light pink and a darkish pink so a little mini restock of polymer clay. I picked up coffee. A big one. So I was up pretty late because I finished Good Game. So I feel like, what am I doing? I finished Good Game by Madison Fox. And so I went into this book wanting fun and sexy. And I indeed got fun and sexy. So I think my overall rating is going to be four out of five. And let me tell you why. So I really actually love the characters and I think I loved the three guys like the best. Let me, the system, 
I like them. I like their like dynamic found family um, thing that they have going on. I think it's so heartwarming and we got a little bit of each of their personalities, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. It was just so much fun. And then Stevie, I wish there was a little bit more character development with Stevie. Alex, like the love interest, I feel like he had a lot of character development and then Stevie just kind of like stayed the same. But I don't want to discredit kind of how she moved past kind of a very toxic relationship. So she, you know, realized, hey, you know, this wasn't good. I put myself in this position over and over again. And then kind of like realized she deserved better and to be treated better. That was really good for Stevie's character development, but I wish it would have went a little bit deeper. And then we get her family a little bit. They're mentioned quite a bit. And then she has a couple conversations with her mother, but that's kind of it. And I really wish that was explored a little bit more in the book as well. And then for the kind of like twist aspect, I kind of saw it coming from a mile away. And I wish we would have gotten more from one character because, you know, as you're reading through the book, you're like, okay, it's one of these two. And then throughout kind of like the beginning-ish, kind of like halfway through is you're like, okay, it's definitely this one. Um, and I wish there was more from the other one that you think like the like mystery kind of aspect was just to make it a little bit more like, is it, is it not, is it, is it not? But otherwise, you know, I love this. The ending was really heartwarming and I'm really excited for the next books in the series because it's going to explore the other members of the system. And yeah, I'm so ready. I think the next one is Sydney and Parker and I love those two in this book. You know, they were, <laughs> there's something about Sydney where I'm like, okay, I'm here for it. I think I relate a little bit more to Sydney than I do with Stevie and that is fine but that just means I am that much more excited for Parker and Sydney because I do think the hints that Madison has been giving us on social media that is the next book it's Parker and Sydney so really excited about that but I read a little over 300 pages yesterday and so I haven't started my second book I haven't even done like the wheel so I'll do that when I get home but I wanted to kind of touch on this guy but um you can kind of tell pages started falling out as I was reading is my grip like that intense I don't know but yeah it's like I don't know at least a dozen pages just fell out and I had to like stick them back in but you know uh, yeah. And then I got so into the book that I was, I'm trying to like, it's this like huge thing of sunlight. Um, I was trying to like tab and stuff like that, but I got really into certain parts of the book that I totally forgot, especially near the end. Like when's the last one? 297, but there's 377. So like, what did I say? 87? 297? So like 80? like 80 pages the last 80 pages there was a lot going on and I didn't mark anything I was just like oh my gosh I need to read more and more and more but yeah so there's that <sighs> I need some more coffee I woke up much earlier than I usually do it's been a rough day but yeah so I need to go into the store get some groceries and kind of like last minute things we're still picking up a few things here and there for our trip to Wisconsin and Japan and then just some things to like live for the rest of the week kind of you know like normal people but we don't want too many groceries because we'll just have to like throw them all away so um yeah I need I know we need milk in that I need almond milk Sean needs just milk milk but yeah but otherwise yeah that's my update and I'll check in in a bit okay so put my cursor over okay here we go okay so we're gonna spend this guy and see what I need to read today da, da, da. Okay. Least used format. Okay. Well, let's take a look at my story graph and see what my least used format is. I'm going to do it for this year. 22 books, least used format. So let's see. Format. I have. Oh, it's close. This year has been my audiobook year, not gonna lie. But I have 55% print and 45% audio. So I guess we're going with audio, even though I feel like I've been doing it a lot, but look how close it is. I know. So I guess I need an audiobook. Let's see what I have available. Okay, I'll be back. 
Okay, so probably cheating because I think in the Discord they said the first book could be a currently reading book, but I'm trying to get my currently reading book pile down. So I'm just going to use, if a currently reading book fits one of these this weekend, I'm going to use it, whether I'm in the middle of it or not. So am I cheating? Maybe a little, but that's okay. But I do have an audiobook that I started, um, Twisted Love by Anna Hong. I think I don't know I don't remember I'll put it up here and I am 68% through so I can finish that pretty quickly probably today slash tonight after my hair appointment and then spin the wheel again and get another book out of the way yeah maybe I can even get that done before my hair appointment and then do another spin after my hair appointment for like my night book tonight but I suppose we'll see I suppose we'll see okay Hey, my new hair. Oh, look at it. Isn't it pretty? I know. <laughs> okay, my last update was Saturday. It's Monday morning. I don't even know what to say. So, uh, my last update, I think I had my like new hair and I was updating you on good game if i'm not mistaken after i got home i took a nap and it was like a three hour nap and after i woke up from my nap i was dead to the world so i actually started watching um queen charlotte which i did finish last night and i really liked it i think i liked queen charlotte more than i liked the original like bridgerton uh seasons so far i mean i liked all the seasons that we have from this world but I think Queen Charlotte so far is my favorite. Um, just so deep, um, really like that. And then yesterday afternoon, I did finish Twisted Love and I think I gave this like a four star and it mostly had to do with the ending. At, at the end, it was a lot of just explaining and I'm really glad that I was listening to the audiobook because if I think I had to like physically read all of that, it would have been a lot. I mean, I know a lot of like romance books does this where, you know, a couple and they get the first book and then the side characters from the original book get their own books but I really would have liked for maybe our main characters from this book to get maybe get a more flushed out story with maybe more than just one novel but you know you get what you get it was good but I really wish we would have gotten a little bit more and then the ending was just like super I felt rushed and just very explainy and I'm just like they just explained the entire book to us at the end. <laughs> and I was like, okay. But I did finish that. So this weekend for this readathon, I did finish two books. I wanted to finish a lot more than that, but it is what it is. And then this weekend, I also started Avatar The Last Airbender, the new live action. And I've been seeing a lot of hate and I went in knowing it was not going to be like a direct like live action from, you know, the original show and stuff like that. And yes, there's differences. And yes, they're kind of going over a lot of things, but we all knew that was going to happen. So I went in with very low expectations and just going in kind of treating it like its own entity. And I don't hate it. You know, I actually kind of like it. It's not bad. And I think the hate going around for it is a little unjustified. I don't know what people were expecting. I think a lot of those people are going into the new live action show already knowing or thinking they're gonna hate it. And so obviously they do, but I go into my media differently. I go in with low expectations and then I am pleasantly surprised because it doesn't completely suck. So actually I kind of like it. I think, I think some of the characters, they kind of take out um, parts of the personalities and stuff shows that do this rarely do it well and I think for what they've been given it's well done so that's my thoughts on that. I finished two books. I finished a tv show and I got a little bit more than halfway done with another tv show. <laughs> Not that the tv shows were part of this but that's what I did this weekend so yeah okay well that is my 20 no not 24 uh 72 hour reading nook readathon vlog <laughs> it did not go how i thought it was going to and i was not as dedicated as i thought i would be but you know it is what it is so that's that and yeah please like comment, and subscribe down below if you haven't already and yes mm -hmm.